The African armyworm has affected more than 38 districts across Uganda, destroying cereal crops and pasture. Through awareness, government advises the public on quick responses to the ravaging worm. We encourage the population to manually remove the eggs from crops, from the leaves of cereals or pastures. Look for the right pesticide if you can access cypermethrin 5EC and when you get the right pesticide mix 100 mils 100 to, to, to 100 to 120 mils of this pesticide in 20 liters of water and then you spray dig a ditch around <coughs> the affected area. Because when you dig a ditch around the affected area, the worms will move, trying to spread to other gardens, and they will fall into the ditch. And they will not be able to go beyond there. Government has procured items needed to respond to the reported emergencies in the affected areas. Three. We have procured 23,000 liters of this chemical. And this is quite a big amount. We have also procured supra uh, equipment. And we have deployed all these in the affected districts. David Tomkama, Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture, blames the army worm invasion on the effects of climate change, which results in too high temperatures that favor breeding. The consequence of climate change, it's very, very important for us to remember climate change, uh, uh, meaning that we are in the process of destroying the environment. Because of this, we have raised temperatures and then made it easy for pests such as the African armyworm, to be prevalent. Miriam Womcha, UBC News.